pants is coming, the pants is coming, the pants is coming. Did I just say the pants are coming? No, I said the pants is coming. That is the P-A-N-C-E, Physician Assistant Certification Exam. Now, this is the big daddy of all the tests that you will ever take not really in PA school, at the end of PA school to see if everything that you've done in PA school was worth it and you can actually practice like a big girl or a big boy PA. It is a huge test, five hours, and really and truly it's more like six hours because it's 300 questions broken up into five 60 question, 60 minute blocks, hence the five hours. And then on top of that, you get 15 minutes to kind of just get acquainted with the test initially, and then 45 minutes of break. So essentially you're there for six hours if you take the full allotted time. Now with that being said, a lot of fear can creep in, anxiety can creep in, and we all know that fear can be the killer of dreams. And we don't want your dreams of being a PA kill, right? So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you three tips that I think that you can use to help you not only pass this exam, but any high stake exam that you may be taking from primary school to postgraduate school. So let's get into it right now. What's up you guys, it's Adonis. So I'm back with another video for you guys. If you're new to my channel, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. So we talked about fear and the pants and high stake exams just in the beginning of the video and that it's true right you know fear can squash like your dreams okay and so we don't want that we don't want our dreams like going off to ways because we were fearful of something and so there are things that we can do to help us um, pass these exams pass these things that are like high stake exams that determine a large part of our grade or a large part of our future now what I'm gonna say is nothing novel, okay? And it's actually pretty simple. And usually the things in life that help you succeed really are. It's like hard work and dedication, right? You know, and then, and, and that's not that's not really my tips here, okay? So you still gotta watch till the end of the video. Um, but essentially, it that's, that's what it is. Hard work and dedication is what is gonna help you succeed. Obviously, there are little things here and there that, that add to that, but that's, that's the foundation of it. Uh, and what I'm gonna be giving you is basically the foundation of things that I've used um, and other people that have succeeded in other various areas of their life what they've used and then you can build on that to help you not only pass the pants but pass any exam that you will be taking throughout your life so the first thing that you should do is plan for it make a schedule um, I saw this really good video done by Ross review and it was talking about visualizing the exam you know it and for those of us that are visual people, this is great. Uh, and I will link the video here. Um, in the video, she talks about how what you should do is see your test date. Okay, so if your test date is three months away or three days away, see that test date. See how you're going to dress on that test date, eat on that test date. Those the things that you you are, you're visualizing. Okay, this test date. Write it down on a physical calendar so that you can see it and even cross it off as you get closer to it and visualize that exam. And so that's where the dedication and the diligence comes in. But you have to do your part to make sure you visualize it. Okay, and so be sure to check that video out um, because they have a lot of other tips in there apart from the three that I'm going to give you that will help you um, just do well on test day. The next thing that I think you should do in terms of passing or acing any high stake exam is studying, right? <laughs> Study. Duh. Okay. And so for me, um, when I when I visualized it, I guess you could say, and I planned for it and I made a schedule and I studied, um, I also tested myself. And so I know when you think study, you're just like, oh, okay, like, yeah, you're looking at, um, you know, what what is osmosis or something if you're in biology, right? Um, you're looking at these various different things, like what is the, the best treatment for this particular de disease process if you're in med school or PA school. So you're looking at this and you're studying. Studying, right you're thinking you're studying but what I realized is that I needed to kind of study in threes um, and there were different ways that I I had to study okay and so in those ways of studying I I not only like studied the material that I had 
but I made sure that I tested myself on the material. I made sure I listened to the material either through YouTube videos or recordings that I had from PA school. And then on top of that, I made sure that I taught somebody else. Now, obviously like my husband, he is not in the PA profession at all, but he's who I had. And so I gave him the book with essentially like the answers and I taught him um, about a particular disease process. And it worked really well because when you're able, when you know the material well enough to teach it to somebody else uh, for them to actually understand, then you know you know the material, okay? You are good. So first thing was to plan and visualize the exam. The second thing was to study, um, study in threes, visually, audibly, and vocally by speaking and teaching somebody else. And then and the last thing that you should do when preparing for a high stake exam is stick to the plan. When you're planning for these high stake exams, sticking to the plan is key. Now, you can't be looking at your friends and what they're doing over there and how they study in and being like, oh, that's always gonna work for me, okay? And if you see me as a friend, all right, cool. What I'm saying may not necessarily work for you, but that is why I say all the time, I'm just a girl on you know, YouTube, you take this advice with a grain of salt, um, but this is what worked for me and I've seen this work for others and you may have to adjust it in some ways so that it works perfectly for you but that is okay what I'm trying to give you here is the foundation the foundation of how to study okay and so sometimes you may be looking at your friend and you're like oh, okay they get to go out they going to have fun um, and I'm here stuck stuck studying let me go you know hang out and see what they do um, and that may not be for you okay that's not necessarily gonna work for you and I had to I had to realize that MPA school. MPA school I had to pull back and be like, yo, that's not for me. I gotta go and make sure that I know the material first before I'm able to do the third aspect of how I study best, which is teaching others. And so because of that, I had to say, all right, I'm gonna come back in a day or two after I've gotten this down pat. We can kick through these questions um, and then go from there. And that is what I realized that worked best for me. And so you have to realize what works best for you and you have to stick to the plan, okay? So let's teach you, recap. The top three things that you should be doing, uh, in my opinion at least, is visualizing the exam, planning for it. The second thing that you should be doing is studying. Novel thought, I need to study, but you should be studying. And then the third thing that you should be doing is sticking to the plan. Really, really simple, not anything novel at all, but how you incorporate that to your study habit, that is where the work begins. All right, thank you guys. Uh, if you have any other comments or questions for me, I'll leave them in the comment section below. If you already haven't done so, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.